everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Ade Salam if you are new to my channel please do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you and god bless you one day a show on my youtube channel where i get to talk about legal terms that everybody should know used in the society these are terms that not everyone understands the context when it comes to law there are terms that everybody may have a general idea about but they do not know what the law says about these things. On today's episode, I'll be talking about something very serious, especially in Nigeria during this period. Yes, today I'll be talking about rape in the context of law for, you know, for the major part of this video, it will be what the law says and what the law is in Nigeria. What is written in the statutes, the laws that govern Nigeria. So first, I'd like us to know that when it comes to rape, rape is a criminal offense in Nigeria and it is covered under section 357 of the Nigerian Criminal Code. Nigerian Criminal Code of course has defined rape to be having unlawful canal knowledge of a woman against her consent or maybe getting her consent with the use of force, arm, fear of arm, Mm -hmm. intimidation it also includes making false representation so that means for a person to be said to be raped under the Nigerian criminal code one the person must be a woman two there must not be consent that is there is no consent three there might be consent but where the consent is gotten through force fear of arm intimidation and misrepresentation so that should be clear. It is also rape in the case of a married woman when a person impersonates her husband. That is, you represent yourself as the husband and you know have canal knowledge of the woman. In such case, it is said to be rape because the lady gave consent because she thought it was her husband. Now, this section has been said to be faulty for different reasons. One, does that mean if you're a guy you cannot be raped? Two, does that mean that a married woman cannot be raped by her husband? There are so many questions in this regard that I will be, you know, will attend you to later. So, let me continue with the provisions of the law. Since rape has been clearly defined in the Nigerian Criminal Code, which is a statute that is applicable in Nigeria, if there is a case of rape in Lagos, you have a choice. You may either decide to go with the Nigerian Criminal Code or the Criminal Code of Lagos State. Now we come to Lagos. So the Criminal Code of Lagos State, it is the same provisions basically. Only a woman also can be raped under the Criminal Code of Lagos State. Under the um, Penal Code, Section 282 of the Penal Code. So it means that Nigerian Criminal Code, Criminal Code of Lagos State and the Penal Code are similar provisions. It should be noted that the most important element of rape is penetration. However, it should be noted that proof of penetration is not as easy as it seems or as easy as people think it is. For a case of rape to be valid, there has to be the most important element which is penetration. If all elements are, you know, um, in place, without penetration in such case it is not rape it makes it attempted rape so that means the person did not actually rape the person but attempted to rape the person by section 359 where there is lack of that element it becomes attempted rape and also it should be noted that sexual assault is different from rape and is different from attempted rape these three things are not the same even though people you know often use them interchangeably especially when it comes to sexual assault and attempted rape they are not the same thing sexual assault has been defined under section 360 of the nigerian criminal code yes basically sexual assault is assault but sexually so it is not Attempted rape. Attempted rape has all elements of rape except penetration. That is it. I already made a video concerning assault and battery. So yeah, check the description box below. I will be dropping the link there. So it might actually help you to, you know, get full insight to what sexual assault is. Moving on to the FAFA, Violence Against People Act. It's a statute that was, you know, enacted in 2015. So basically, that is the only statute that 
involves a person. When you say persons, persons may be female, male, woman, anyone. That is the only statute in Nigeria that accommodates, you know, rape of men or boys. Also, it should be noted that only the FAPA expressly stated that there could be penetration in any other part of the body. It means that the other three laws are a bit restricted. It should be, however, noted that FAPA is only applicable in Abuja. That means a boy may be raped in Abuja. However, a boy cannot be raped in all the other 35 states. A person cannot be said to rape a boy or any male person, basically. I'd like everyone to know that the age of consent in Nigeria is 11 years. So if you are 11 years old, it means that you may consent. So that means at the age of 11, you may be said to have lawful canal knowledge. Even though it has been argued that someone of 11 year old may not know the you know, effect of whatever they are consenting to. It is only normal that an 11 year old child should, you know, should not be thinking in that regard. So now, answering the most, you know, asked questions about rape. Number one, can a woman be raped by her husband? The answer is, maybe there is going to be a change in the law, but for now, the Nigerian law states that a woman cannot be raped by her husband. Even though these things happen, the law states that a woman cannot be raped by her husband. Number two is, at what point can a person withdraw a consent? The truth of the matter is, the Nigerian law is silent about that. Nobody knows. There's no express provision about that, for or against. However, interpreting consent literally, it means that consent may be withdrawn at any point in time. So, since that is clear, I'd like us to know that the punishment for rape is life imprisonment in Nigeria. Plus, with or without caning. For attempted rape is a felony, of course, and the punishment is 14 years imprisonment. With or without caning. So yeah, that also should be noted. Also, getting evidence in rape cases is usually not so easy so it is advisable they should you know take their, the clothing items that they have on to the hospitals to be to get tested and you know report to the nearest police station and the rest of it i decided to make this video because i just feel like a lot of people should know what the law says concerning this very sensitive issue and create some sort of awareness for people so that they know that the Nigerian law is one is a cake, two needs to be you know um, revived and yes all the other aspects that it lacks should should be introduced yes so when I see people you know say they are signing petitions and the rest of it I'm like yes yeah, sign it you know just do it make an attempt because we need the lawmakers to see these things they are the ones who can you know actually make these changes let them see it men who are being raped women are being raped yes I feel like everyone should play their part even if you feel like it doesn't really count just play your part until you get the right and those who can change the laws and yes, like I said also, wives are being raped by their husbands. Yes, it happens in Nigeria, yeah, yes. And because the law feels like a, a man cannot rape his wife, because these things really happen, we cannot continue to you know, act as if it doesn't happen when the law is silent about them. Especially in the, in the withdrawal of consent. Yes, some people may give consent at the beginning and later withdraw consent. The law is silent about that. People want to know. So I feel like let's continue the movement. But one day, very soon, it will get to the right hand. People that can really change things in Nigeria, they will see these things. And then they will make proper provision. So that is all I have to say. Thank you all for tuning in today. Thank you all for watching this video. If you've seen this video to this very point, you are a very loyal subscriber. 
If you have not yet subscribed once again, please subscribe to my channel. Like if you like this video. Check to see my other videos if you if you're interested. Bye. -bye.